In this video, I am going to explain you the working of a PIR sensor and how to make the circuit. Let's get started. The passive infrared sensor, in short PIR sensor, which detect any living thing in the form of IR radiations and gives the output in electrical signals. Features of this PIR sensor are it has a range of about 4 to 6 meters at a detection angle of 120 degrees. The operating voltage of this sensor is 4 to 12 volts and I recommend you to use any 5 volt supply. The output voltage of this sensor is 3.3 volts. It has three pins which are VCC output and ground. We can use this sensor in two modes. You can see here L and H. By using this jumper wire, we can set any of these modes. If the jumper wire is set for low mode, which is called as non re triggering, in this mode, the sensor will stop giving the output after some time. And again, it gives the output after some time when it detects any IR radiation. In high mode, which is called as re-triggering, the sensor will give output as long as it detects IR radiations from the living things. It has two potentiometers. This port is to adjust the sensitivity of the sensor. If this port turns in a clockwise direction, then the sensitivity of the sensor will be increased. And this port is used to set the timer of the sensor output. Consider if there is no motion, then after how much time the sensor should go off. In this circuit, when the sensor detects the IR radiation, it sends the electrical signals to the transistor via a 820 ohm resistor. Here this resistor is used to limit the current. When the transistor gets the base current, it conducts electricity between the collector and emitter and the light bulb will switches on using this 5 volt relay. Here is the circuit. You can download it from the link given in the description. Components required. PIR sensor, 5 volts relay, BC547 transistor, or you can use any NPN type transistor, IN4007 diode, one light bulb, and one bulb holder, 5 volt DC supply or you can use a combination of a 9 volt battery and 7805 IC one plastic enclosure circuit making make proper holes on the plastic body to fit the bulb and sensor Connect the positive terminal of the diode to coil 1 and negative terminal to coil 2 of the relay. Connect the 820 ohm resistor to the output pin of the sensor and base of the transistor. Connect the negative terminal of the DC supply and ground pin of the sensor to the emitter pin of the transistor. Connect the VCC pin of the sensor and positive terminal of the DC supply to coil 2 of the relay. Connect the collector pin of the transistor to coil 1 of the relay. Connect 
connect one of the AC supply line to normally open pin of the relay. Connect the light bulb to plug and common terminal of the relay. Here you can see the light goes off because it has not detected any IR radiation and it switches on automatically when it detects any IR radiation. Thanks for watching. If you like this video then do subscribe and give a big thumbs up.